Global climate change is one of the most disputable issues of the 21st century. The effects of global warming are growing at an alarming rate, causing many places like California and Texas to suffer from drought, while other countries like Bangladesh are flooding as a result. I met up with some students to find out what they believe global warming is. What is global climate change, also known as global warming? Um, it's the extreme effects of the weather. So when global warming, global warming can be like when it snows when it's not supposed to be, or when it's really hot when it usually isn't. The global warming is um, kind of the uh, well, the warming of the Earth, the rise in temperature just by a couple degrees. I found out how schools are dealing with the challenges of global warming head-on by implementing environmental and recycling programs to help raise awareness of what global warming is and what they can do to help. What does your school do to prevent further lasting effects caused by global warming? Well, our district has a science and energy team set up, so um, I've actually my middle school uh, has gone to the national competitions for that. We collect um, recyclable aluminum cans. Uh, and we are in close contact with uh, the recycling department in our city. So it's not a whole lot at my school, but within the district we do have efforts going on. From these environmental programs, students were able to better understand the challenges that we face as a nation and what they can do to better their community. Does this change your perspective on what you plan to do to help the environment and why? Um, yeah, it definitely does because it, it's scary to think that, yeah, like people like us are definitely going to be the ones that are trying to face this and a lot of us don't believe in it. So it does suck because like not everyone is going to do their part to like change this. So I mean, it definitely, it definitely puts it into a certain light for you thinking, you know, we need to get everyone aware of this situation so we can fix what needs to be fixed. This has been Cassidy reporting for SIPA TV.